What's up guys, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you a title update achievement walkthrough for the X-Crawlers. This game just got updated to 2000 gamer score on Xbox and Windows. They added 5 new achievements, and to unlock them all, it'll take you around 15 to 30 minutes. You just have to reach the first boss, reach hero level 10, and kill a few different types of skeletons. In order to find these skeletons, you'll have to progress up to the first dungeon. If you still have your save, go ahead and continue where you left off. And assuming you forgot how to play, you can move around with the left stick, attack with X, dash with A, and you can shoot your bow with the right stick. So starting off, head, on to head out into the forest area just like we did last time. You may remember that these areas are random every time, but that doesn't really matter. If you look down at your map on the bottom right side, your objective is to clear out the red enemy camps. You have to clear out a total of four of those in order to progress to the boss and the dungeon where the skeletons are. So go ahead and use your map and make your way to the red squares. Along the way, make sure you kill the enemies to earn XP and pick up any items that they drop. Also look out for boxes and barrels, sometimes they have health potions or items inside so keep an eye out for those. Once you get to the enemy camp here you can spawn the enemies in by pressing B on the flag. I recommend taking out the blue guys first since they're pretty annoying with their ranged attacks. And whenever the big guys go in for an attack make sure you dodge away and avoid them. Also if you're weak you can heal by pressing the right bumper. But once the mini boss spawns in here just ignore him and take out all of the other enemies first. And then once all the other enemies are dead, you can just use your bow to take him out. Once you clear out the enemies, a chest will spawn and inside you can choose a random upgrade. I chose the create a shockwave upon a sword strike upgrade which is very helpful, but yours is more than likely going to be different than mine, so just choose whichever one you prefer. If you get the flames ability, you can burn the tents here and sometimes you can find items inside. Also, don't forget, you can equip different items, buy skill points, and title points in the menus. You get a skill point each time you level up, so make sure you're spending those to make things a little easier. I recommend spending your skill points on damage and health, or whichever you prefer. Anyways, after you clear out the first camp, go ahead and use your map and move on to the next one, and keep repeating that until you clear out a total of four, and then from there we'll be able to move on to the boss. Also, if you're struggling, keep in mind that the game is only going to get easier the more you level up and buy skill points. You can also upgrade your equipment in the menu here if you have three of the same kind. For my equipment, I have on two of the Rubies of Life that give me plus 15 health. I also have two Gems of Strength that give me bonus melee damage, and I think the Shard of Thirst one regenerates your health a little bit whenever you damage an enemy. But again, all of your equipment is going to be random, so it'll probably be different than mine. As for the skills, I went ahead and upgraded my ranged and defense skill once, and then from there I'm going to focus on damage and health, but feel free to upgrade whichever skills you prefer. Once you clear out the second camp here, that'll unlock the door, and you can head through. The door appears as a red arrow on your map, and as for the random upgrade here, I'm going to choose the one that creates arrows above the enemy's heads and damages them for you. In the next area here, again, we have to do the same thing, just clear out the two enemy camps and then that'll unlock the door and we can head through to the boss fight.
For this upgrade here, I chose Sword Attack Set Enemies on Fire, which is pretty helpful. Right here, I unlocked the achievement for reaching hero level 10, and for the upgrade here from the chest, I'm gonna choose to double the fire damage. Now we can head through the newly unlocked door and face the first boss. Alright, so once you head through the door here and reach the first boss, that'll unlock your next achievement. So you want to be careful, the boss here is going to start off by throwing projectiles at you. So back up, you can dodge the projectiles by walking in a circle counterclockwise, just like that there. Once he's done, you want to get up close and personal and damage him a bit. Make sure you dodge his little slap attacks there. Damage him a bit and then quickly back away as he's going to start throwing more of the projectiles. Again, just dodge those by walking counterclockwise. Once he's done, you can go ahead and quickly finish him off. If you're not quick enough and you don't finish him off right away, he will start spawning in enemies. So just be careful. Try to finish him off as quickly as you can. Once you finish him off, make sure you pick up the equipment that he drops. Feel free to upgrade anything that you need to and use your skill points and then you can head through the door. Once you're back in the sanctuary here, head through the newly opened door, and this is where you will find the skeletons, skeleton mages, and the big skeletons. You have to kill a total of 4 big skeletons, 10 skeleton mages, which are the ones that fly, and then 20 of the regular skeletons. In order to find the big skellies, you again have to go to the enemy camps on your map and summon the enemies using the flags, and then the big skeleton will spawn in as a mini boss at the end of the wave. Also, along the way, look out for little spider eggs. They're really easy to kill, and they give you a lot of XP. Alright, so once you get to the camp, go ahead and summon the enemies by using the flag there. And again, just like we did before, you want to take out the ranged enemies first. So make sure you focus on the skeleton mages first. Take them out, and they can focus on the regular skellies. And then as for the mini boss, again, you want to take care of all of the regular enemies first. And then you can take out the big skelly using your bow and arrow. And right here, I also unlocked the achievement for killing the 10 skelly mages. You should be close to that one as well. But once you finish off the mini boss here, that is one of four, 
And uh, instead of just continuing on, I found an easy method. If you pause, you can just return to the sanctuary and that will replenish all of your health and give you your potions back. And now again, just head out through the door and then make your way to the next mini boss. And again, repeat that three more times until you kill a total of four. Right here I finally got the achievement for killing 20 of the regular skellies. Once you have that you can just ignore all of the enemies and make your way to the camp. Once you kill your fourth big skeleton, that'll unlock the final achievement and that'll be your full completion until the next title update. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if the guide was helpful. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, TimG84, Stacy Mackey, HinterGod35, and my two legend supporters, Nikunonioi and Monarch Reptar.